Besides this, you know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone. The day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Romans 13, 11 and 12. When I was a child, I could and did frequently sleep for 12 hours or more at a time. My body craved sleep. Mornings were difficult. But as I've grown older and my life has been overtaken by routines and work and myriad obligations, I've discovered that I often have difficulty sleeping. Mornings are a welcome respite, a quiet time before the frantic pace of the day begins. Mornings are a new beginning, a kind of new creation. When it is possible to start over, leave the burdens of the previous day behind and embrace the possibilities that a new day is present. I wonder if these are not behind some of the ideas that the Apostle Paul wrote when he wrote this to the church at Rome. Because it is here that Paul writes to the believers to leave behind the darkness, to embrace the light, and to awake from sleep. A metaphor that, of course, is in fact used throughout the Bible for everything from apathy to death. He calls upon believers, Paul does, to recognize that God's salvation is near. The themes and the ideas can come full circle as we go together on this journey through Advent. Consider, for example, the many distractions that pervade our lives. It's often difficult to see God's helpfulness and interventions in our lives when our attentions are wrestled away by worry, Busyness, entertainment, and we like that, disasters, fear, anxiety, or even the next big game on TV. When we move our attention from these to cast out faith upon God, it can often be like awakening from sleep. The pall of darkness lifts, and we see life in a whole new light. As a child, I could never figure out why my parents enjoy the morning so much. But now that I'm older, I think I know. It's taken me a long time. It's because the mornings offer us the possibility of a new order, a new creation, a new way to think about our lives, 
our worries, our concerns. Instead of dropping back to sleep in the darkness of yesterday, we can embrace new paths of gratitude, of hope, of joy. Today, this evening even, offers all of these new possibilities and it offers you hope. I hope you'll reach out, even into this night, even into what we may think of as darkness, and as you pray this night, pray for the light of tomorrow to come to you gently, and may you awaken as a new creation. Amen.